Welcome back my people. I always start every video by appreciating you people for the support you have given me and the love you have shown me as a family. Before I started this channel, I never knew whether at this point in time I'll be where, by, where I am. We are at 9.7k subscribers and we are just a few, a few laps to attaining 10,000 subscribers. So haters and lovers, let's continue sharing, commenting and liking our videos with our relatives so that may, they may be recommended everywhere in the world. So they continue keeping the support on, continue encouraging us to continue educating you by subscribing, liking, commenting, and also bringing uh, any illness or any condition that is affecting you and you want us to discuss more about it so that you may get enough knowledge about it. So let's continue keeping the support as one family and I know this channel will, will grow to greater heights. So we are still talking about uh, uh, these microorganisms that cause uh, food poisoning of which this is a reputation of what we talked about previously and we were discussing about bacteria so examples of bacteria that can cause food poisoning include the following one shigella which we discussed about it number two e coli listeria combilobacter sulfuri and staph staphylococcus aureus let's get to the next which is the virus so if you just uh, listen to me i'm not taking much time in these uh, bacteria viruses and uh, the, the 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 parasites because we did discuss everything in details and for those who have been following me you can see the videos in my channel so let's talk about the viruses Food poisoning caused by virus can uh, pass from one person to another. So food poisoning caused by a virus can pass from one person to another. Common food, uh, common food born viruses is norovirus, which causes inflammation in stomach and intestine. So norovirus is one of the commonest viruses that cause uh, food poisoning and leads to inflammation. Uh, in the stomach and the st intestines or rather the stomach lining so let's see about hepatitis hepatitis is another foodborne illness from virus this is highly contagious acute this is highly contagious acute liver infection causing inflammation of the liver so hepatitis is another foodborne illness from viruses this is highly contagious acute liver infection that causes inflammation of the liver. Hepatitis A virus can be found in the stool and blood of infected people. So uh, hepatitis A virus can be found in stool or blood of infected people. So it's not found in anybody anywhere it can only be find, found in stool or blood of an infected person if you don't wash your hands after using the bathroom you may pass the virus to another through hands um, and shakes and other physical conduct so if you don't wash your hands thoroughly after using or visiting the bathroom you may pass the virus to others through handshakes and other physical conduct. You may also spread the virus to others if you prepare food or drinks with the contaminated hands. So if you prepare food and drinks with the contaminated hands, obviously this is direct. You will pass the infection to others. So... Contagious foodborne viruses also spread through indirect conduct. Contagious 
food borne viral viruses also spread through indirect conduct throughout the course of a day you may touch several surfaces with contaminated hands these include light switches counters phones and door handles these are examples of uh, some parts or areas in the house that you can touch with contaminated uh, hands and this can lead into transferring the disease from you to another person if this person handles the surface you have touched with the contaminated hands so uh, throughout the course of a day you may touch several surfaces with contaminated hands these include light switches counters phones and door hands anyone who touches that surface may become ill if they put their hands into the mouth that is very direct and self explanatory a point to note bacteria and viruses can live outside the body on hard surfaces for hours and sometimes days this is very important bacteria and viruses can live outside body on unhard surfaces for hours and sometimes days Salmonella and Cobylobacter can live on surfaces for up to 24 for up to 4 hours where is as norovirus can survive on surfaces for a week or 7 days i hope this you get this eh? bacteria and viruses live outside body on hard surfaces for hours and sometimes days Salmonella and Cobylobacter can live on surfaces for up to 4 hours whereas norovirus can survive in surface for a week or 7 days. So, let's talk about parasites. Parasites that cause food poisoning include Giardia Giardia duodenalis or Giardia labia, Cristoporium eh, pavum, Cyclo pora cyclospora caetansis toxoplasma godi trichinella trichinella spiralis spiralis eh taenia solium those are examples of the parasites that can cause food poisoning so Uh, when present when present these organisms are found in stool of humans and animals when it presents these parasites are found in stool of humans and animals animals uh, and co- contracted to uh, to the body that comes in contact with the surfaces of infected person or animal i hope you get this point eh? that when present these organisms are found uh, are found on stool of animals uh, and uh, and contracted to the body if you ca- you, you eat contaminated what all put your hands in your mouth in your mouth let me repeat this point eh? uh, when present these organisms are found on stool of humans and animals it's contracted to the body if you eat contaminated water or put in your hands or put in your hands in your mouth anything that comes in contact with feces or infected person or animal i hope you get that point that when present these organisms are, are found in stool of humans and animals and contract contracted to 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 uh, the body 
if you eat contaminated water or put your uh, your uh, your mouth or put into your mouth anything that comes in contact with the feces of infected person or animal can spread this type of food poisoning through physical conduct or contaminated uh, hands. This marks the end of our discussion today. And tomorrow we will continue talking about the same uh, topic, which is a longer one. And I hope everybody or every one of you is getting to understand what we talk or what we mean by food poisoning. It's a very wide topic and I think we are cover, covering it in deep. So guys, let's continue subscribing. Let's remain as one family and uh, as we usher the new year and the birth of Jesus Christ. Let's maintain peace. Let's take care of ourselves because we need each other in the coming year 2023. So guys, as you celebrate, just be safe. So Let's meet in the next video. Have a good evening and a Merry Christmas and a Happy New Year. Goodbye.